Hello and welcome to tonight's homework Kelt for Wednesday night, October 31st, 2012. Happy Halloween! Uh, we're going to jump right in with multi-step equations again. Okay, again, the directions say to solve the following. Show your work. That means your proof. Okay? Also, it says check your answers. A lot of people didn't check their answers on last night's homework. Again, you need to check your answers. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to do this toughest problem on the bottom uh, right here for you guys. So what we're going to do is uh, here we have a distribution set up. We're going to have to distribute the 5 to the 2a and the 5 to the minus 3. Then we have another a there that we're going to have to combine with the a term that we create here. So let's get started. 5 times 2a minus 5 times 3. That's how we distribute it. So I go 5 times 2a minus 5. Oops, let's try that again. We'll do 5 times 3. And that's what we get when we do the distribution. Then we have to add that, we have to include that minus a. I'll just be consistent and write it as a capital since I already did. Equals 48. Okay, well, 5 times 2 is 10 times a is 10a. So I get 10a minus 15 minus a. And that's equal to 48. And then I need to combine terms that are similar. So I have uh, my 10a and my minus a. And then I have uh, just a constant of 15. Okay, well, I can combine the red circles. So 10a and minus a is 9a. Okay, so don't forget that that uh, that minus that it's a negative a or a minus a. So p positive 10 minus 1 is 9. So positive 10a minus 1a is 9a. Uh, and then the minus 15. There's really nothing to change there, so we just bring it down. Minus 15 equals 48. Uh, now here at this point we have a two-step equation which we should be able to solve. We want to take the minus 15 from being attached to the variable a, and then we want to take the multiplied by 9 from being attached to the variable a. So we're trying to isolate the variable a. So we're going to add 15 to both sides first. Uh, this becomes 0. If I subtract 15 and then I add 15, that's the equivalent of 0. 9a minus 0, well, that's just 9a. And that's equal to 48 plus 15 would be 58, 63. Okay. Now, I still don't have my variable alone. So what I need to do then is, uh, since it's 9 times a, I need to use the inverse operation of times or multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide that side by 9 to get rid of the 9, because 9 divided by 9 is 1, and 1 times a will leave me with just a. But I need to do the same thing that I did on this side to the other side. So since I divided this side by 9, I'm going to divide this side by 9 as well. 63 divided by 9 is 7. So I get my answer as a equals 7. But according to the directions, it also said check your answers. So now the way I check my answers is I look at the side of the equation that has the variables. And I'm going to recopy that side and then substitute what I got in for a in place of the a's. Okay, So I'm just going to do that off to the side here. So I'm going to say uh, 5 times 2a minus 3 that quantity closed minus a. I'm not going to copy the equals 48 because if, if uh, this comes out with an answer of 48 
then it should then that means that it matches the other 48 that we didn't copy down and that means we got it right so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values uh, a value of 7 for wherever I have an A so 5 times 2 times 7 minus 3 minus 7 well I get 5 times well 2 times 7 is 14 minus 3 minus 7 14 minus 3 is 11 so you get 5 times 11 minus 7 which is 55 minus 7 that's supposed to be a minus there okay close enough um, so I get 55 minus 7 which is 48 and then I notice that this 48 and the 48 that I didn't copy down they match so my answer checks out and it's correct okay Please do uh, work on these other problems. They're not as tough. You usually just have to combine the like terms uh, and then solve a two-step equation from that point, much like we did from here down. And then be sure and show your work. Okay, we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side. Birthdays. Uh, here's a tally chart showing the days on which a group of second graders were born. So we've got a tally chart here, and it says to complete the chart by filling in the total. So you're going to have to count the tallies that you have there and write the numerical number here. Count the tallies here, write the numerical number there. I'll do one of them for you. I'll do uh, Friday, because I like Fridays. So Friday I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm just going to write 7 on Friday. So please be sure and fill in all the totals here for number 1. Number two, help these students by completing this bar chart. So on Monday, I want to see the number of students that uh, were born on a Monday. So, uh, well, actually, I did Friday. So as an example, Friday I had seven students that were born on a Friday. So now I'm going to fill out the bar chart, and I'm going to fill it all the way up to seven and fill in my bar. So I'll just do some light shading here, some diagonals for light shading. So there I filled in Friday. Please be sure and fill out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, as well as Friday. Based on this information, you get exactly here. You'll have the numbers on this side from doing number one. Then, it says, number three says, on which day were most students born? So you can easily look at this bar graph up here and whichever day has uh, the tallest bar will tell you which day most students were born. Number four says how many more birthdays are on weekdays than on weekends. So there you're going to add up all the birthdays for Monday through Friday, which are weekdays. And then you're, separately, you're going to get a new figure for the number of days, the number of birthdays that fell on Saturdays and Sundays. And then you're going to subtract the lower number from the higher number. Uh, it looks like weekdays will be the higher number and weekends will be the lower number, which makes sense. There's only two days on the weekend and five days during the weekday. Uh, and then that difference between the weekday birthdays total and the weekend birthdays total, you'll write that difference here and you'll show your math down here. Okay. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call either Mr. Schlepper or myself or check out the website which has this video on it. You can also scan this with your smartphone. If you have any more questions or concerns, please let us know. Good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr! And happy Halloween.